With the launch of the all-new 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee, Chrysler also rolled out an industry-first green standard in vehicle seating material. By replacing soy, a renewable raw material, with recovered foam waste material in the Grand Cherokee seat foam manufacturing process, the bar has been raised in sustainable manufacturing processes. Well, soy is a biomaterial, uh, and a lot of people are using it today. What we were really looking for and where this all started was a discussion on how we were going to increase our green initiatives. In this particular case, we are taking foam that was generated from other commercial sources that was otherwise designated to go to the landfill. We're taking these materials and we're chemically decomposing them to create new raw materials that we can use for foams. Chrysler was instrumental in the early stages of the development of this material and it is really an industry first. The raw materials again are obtained from sources by our, our polymer partners, Inficam Polymers. They've developed a special process to de chemically decompose the materials called glycolysis. What this process does is it produces one of the, the ingredients of urethane foam called polyol and then shipped it to Magna Interior Systems. Magna blends the recycled polyol with virgin materials and produces seat foams that have at least a 5% recycled content. These foams are then assembled on seat frames with seat covers, either leather or, or fabric, and then put together for seat sets for shipment to Jefferson North. And we've set up a truly closed loop system where all the post-industrial waste from the Magna facility and the making of the foam pads for the Grand Cherokee will go back to Inficem for reuse. We estimate right now that we're, we're recovering about 180,000 pounds of foam per year that would otherwise be shipped to the landfill. Think about it this way. It's 50 average swimming pools full of foam. It's 33 garbage trucks full of foam. Or 15 fully compacted semi-trailers full of foam. And that's foam that would have been slated to go to landfill. It doesn't decompose, at least not in our lifetime. It's not edible. It's not going anywhere other than into landfill. Those numbers could head higher as the company considers expanding use of the seat foam in other vehicles and applications. We use polyurethane foam throughout the vehicle. We use it in various seals uh, for NVH improvement. Uh, body structures, structural foams, we're looking to use it there. So yeah, we're looking to extend it to wherever we possibly can, even including the amount. As, as was mentioned, I believe, earlier, we talked about 5% by weight. And right now we already have initiatives to increase that to 10% by weight in the seat foam pads and possibly 20% in the headrests. Reporting for Chrysler Electronic Communications, I'm Betty Carrier Newman.